He was a jazz pianist, jazz educator, and the first jazz ambassador. Dr. Billy Taylor's most famous composition, I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel to Be Free, became an anthem of the civil rights movement and was made famous by Nina Simone. Wish I knew how it would feel to be free. But on the 100th anniversary of Dr. Taylor's birth, he passed away 11 years ago, friends, fans, family, and jazz musicians gathered in Damroche Park at Lincoln Center to celebrate Dr. Taylor's most lasting legacy, Jazzmobile. Jazzmobile is an organization that my dad created uh, over 50 years ago, and it was designed to bring jazz to communities all around the, the city for free and allowing people to really appreciate what he called uh, America's classical music, which is jazz. Since its founding in 1964, Jazzmobile, in conjunction with Summerfest, has been providing free jazz concerts and workshops in parks, on the street, and in concert halls. More than four million New Yorkers and visitors have participated over the last five decades. Billy Taylor was the one who created the whole concept of taking a look at jazz and making it an art form. Billy Taylor was the first one to do that. And there are other organizations that have been following him and copying him, if you will, but they say imitation is the best form of flattery, but it's even better when they take what you did and build on it and make it better and stronger. And to the musicians up on the stage, like percussionist Winard Harper, Dr. Billy Taylor was a loving mentor and role model. Billy is one of the reasons why people can go to college now and study jazz and get degrees in it. And that's all because of the pioneering of, of Dr. Taylor and, and then other people like him that fought hard. Aside from the music, one thing that always stood out about him for me was that he was one of the best human beings that I've known, you know, in my lifetime. And for more information about Dr. Billy Taylor, Jazzmobile, and upcoming Summerfest concerts, go to our website, pix11.com. From Damroche Park at Lincoln Center, McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.